interesting aspect of early pan-Turkism is how much of it originates from the peripheries of the Turkic diaspora, especially in Turkic minority states during the mid-19th century. Pan-Turkism and the overlapping concept of pan-Turinism, which I'll use as synonyms in this video, traces its roots to Crimean and Volgan Tatars such as Ismail Gaspuralu and Yusuf Akchura, Azeris like Ahmed Agayev and Ale Husseinzadeh, and to an extent, Hungarians, whose people were believed by some to be Turkic, or at least Turanian, in the 19th century. Few proponents of Hungarian pan-Turinism held a higher profile than Armin Vambri, a globe-trotting polyglot orientalist and international celebrity. I'll never stop mentioning that in part he inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula. Vambri was an odd figure. Born Jewish, he converted to Calvinism, then Islam, then possibly Baha'i. He was a fierce believer in the civilizing mission of the British Empire and a fierce critic of the Russian Empire. He was a lover of all things Turkic who believed the future of the Ottoman Empire and the Turkic peoples lied not in Islam, but in Turinist solidarity. This, however, put him at odds with other major figures in 19th century Turinism, many of whom were Muslim and tried to synthesize pan-Turinism with Islam. But Vambury was also a correspondent with other pan-Turinists, and he wrote to one of the movement's major ideologues, the Volga Tatar Yusuf Akhtura. Vambury wrote the possibility that aligning themselves closer with one another, the fragments of the Turkic people now living in separation should unite with one another and form a nation numbering of at least 50 million soldiers. Souls. He said the disruptive power of the West, though particularly Russia, can for the time being disrupt and delay this process, though it can hardly stop its final outcome. While Vambury sounded optimistic, other pan-Turinists were struggling to fit the mostly Christian Hungarians into the broader Turinist framework. To reconcile this, Akhtura formulated the dual concepts of Lesser Turin, including all Muslim Turkic peoples, and Greater Turin, which included the Christian Hungarians, Finns, Estonians, and other Finno-Ugric people. Despite Akhtura's framework, which created space for the eager pan-Turinist Hungarians, many in the movement struggled to embrace the idea, with the poet Ahmed Hikmet declaring that no matter what happens, the Hungarians will remain orphans. 